um, uh, so the verb is ita to speak. Uh, speak the name. Oh, I I spoke my own name. Hi, hi. To say your own name. Perfect. Um, next is reiki. Reiki is like calm or cold air. Uh, in this context, it's cold air, not calm. Cold air. <laughs> cold air. It's reiki. funny that it can mean calm. It's clearly wrote cold. Cold, cold and then like aura. So. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, reiki, cold air. Um, can you read the sentence I, for me? Um, kiro. Is it kiro? Nope, it is kori. Kori. Kori no yona reiki ga nagare komu. What does that mean? Um, the cold air the the air that that is as cold as ice flowed into dot 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 yes perfect flow into something yep so this word starts with g what does it end with jibun hi jibun perfect can you read this name for me jibun no namae o Sakenda from Sakebu. Hi. To yell my own name. Perfect. And our next word is oshinokeru, which is a do verb. This means to push aside. Oshinokeru. Oshinokeru. Hi. So let's go read the line from the book. Ore wa. Reiki o oshi no ke jibun no namae o sakenda kon ue a ue wa kon wa waya wea kon wea so when you see um u and cut the cutter like that with something else. It's not really like it's, it's, it's like wa right there. So wa, eh, ah. Where? On where? He yelling like b. I don't quite know what that means. Um. Well, so con the meaning of con where is told by the previous sentence. Jibun no namayo sakenda. Conwaya. Oh, oh, his last name. Okay, get it. Um. So ore wa o me reiki o oshi to push aside the cold uh, air. Hi. I push aside the cold air, and I yell my own name, Conwaya. Perfect, Conwaya. Nice. And this right here is double check if you remember these words. Can you read this um line for me? It's from a previous slide. It probably means Conway, isn't it? Is this Conway? Name Conway in English? Uh, no, it's the name of a bird, which is I think actually Conwire, Con something like that. Con some kind of black bird. It's not a normal I see. name. Hi, Oi, Kozo. Shiwagarete iru ga Ryo Ryo ko. Good guess. This one right here is Chikara du yoi. You're right that a lot of times this is ryo, um, ryoku. Like, um, Hi. if it was, but a lot of times if a kanji is in the first position for whatever reason, about half the time it's not read with that reading. <laughs> So right here is chikara jio jioi. What does chikara jioi mean? Zui. Hi. Chikara zui koeda. Zuyo. Zuyo. Zui. Zuzoi. Zuyoi. Like chioi. Chioi for strong, then it became zuyoi. Zuyoi. Um, a forceful voice to put Hi. power into the 
voice so forcefully uh, a strong she... forceful voice forceful voice she wa garete iru she wa gareru she wa this is another gare... way to describe the voice so the voice was strong it was also she wa garete iru so if a voice is shiragawateru, normally you would not expect it to be very strong, but it was strong and shiragareteru. My hint is that an old man is talking. How do you think old men talk? Um, they they, they slur, they drop words, they that, drop syllables. That they do. This right here is actually the word for um horse, kind of like. Times kind of cracky, uh, kind of um, vocal fry, Horse. but like old man vocal fry. She will got it. Scratchy, scratchy kind of a voice. Yes, yeah? exactly. Like an old country singer type of voice. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah. So his voice was hoarse, but um, strong. So right here, I wrote the word Conway and from English. As you can see, not a normal name. It's 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 from a bird. Um, Kanwaya. Um, can you read this word for me? Kuri hanasu. Good guess. This is kaisu. Ah, kaisu. Hi. So kuri kaisu means to to repeat. Right. Hanasu was to release. Hi. Or the other kanji was to separate from. Yep. This one is to return. Yep. But particularly returning something, returning an object of some sort. Not necessarily like an object. A lot of times this will be an action, will be kuri kaisu. Um, kaisu on its own is to return um, an object. But the word kuri kaisu, which is returning and um, kuri kind of like kuri. roundish kind of roundish. Where does kuri to reappear kuri 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 yeah so yeah it means to repeat kuri kaisu kuri ah. Hi. so how would you say to repeat the word um run you should run uh, nigero. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Let me try again. Nigero to kuri kaisu. Perfect, because it's in quotation marks. <laughs> Hi, I should have sound that. Perfect. There are contexts where you could use o, but in that case, we wouldn't have something in quotation marks. Um, Wait. so this first kanji is ma. Do you know, have any idea how it might this what this word might be with the second half? Yes, this is uh, how moving castle. Mm. Maho. Hi, 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 Maho. <laughs> yep. Magic. They say it all the time. Maho, Maho. <laughs> Maho. Makes logical sense. So, what would I say if I said I yelled? It's magic. Maho da to sekenda. Perfect. And next is the word to get. Kuwaidu, this is a do verb, and this means to add on to. This is commonly also used when you're talking about someone talking. So someone says, I like pie. Then there's like a pause, and they add on to that. I also like chocolate milk or something. So it just means to add on to, and it's commonly used for um like words, to add extra words onto what you already said. To add on to something. Hi. So get got Hi. So let's go read these two sentences. Ore wa nandaro? Are wa nandaro? Toita. Ah, mahoda. To suke kuareta. So someone asked, What is that? Uh, someone said, What is Hi. that? And the response, ah, it's magic. Yeah, that's uh, a good guess. Uh, but with um, but in like Kawaii, we would assume these two are the same person. 
Katsuki Kawada means to add on to. So Wait, it so says, he asked himself I, the question. Yes. Huh, what is that, I wonder? That all is never used in direct questions. That doesn't really make any sense. It's It can oh. be used, like, right to um, a group of like, oh, that's, that's, what is that, right? But that would be weird in this context. Um, so it's probably, I wonder. What is that, I wonder? So they said, what is that, I wonder? Then they went, ah, mahoda. Oh, it's magic. So they said, what is that, I wonder? And then they added on to that by saying, oh, it's magic. Um, I see. You probably won't see something like this, like right next to each other like that. Because then what's the point in having to get Kawaii here to add on to? Um, there'd probably like more words between these two events. But I just wow. want to have an example that this right here means to add on to, like to add on to what you were saying. Um, like to add another sentence. Um, Hi. do you know what a jumon is? Jumon. A spell. Exactly. Jumon. Yep. Okay, so now we have our characters talking. What? I'm sorry. Well, they're not talking, but from our book. What does it say? Hi. Toku de neburu ga chikara zu yoi. Shiwagare koe de. With a voice that is shiwagare, meaning Horse, coarse, right. um, and forceful. Uh, Nebri, he said, Kon wa tokuri kaeshi. Um, he he re he restated it. He he said it one more time, and then nani ka. Sukekuwa eta. And then he added on to that. Nanika. He added on something as well. And that something is. Maho no chumonda. He added a spell, a magical spell, mm -hmm. on top of saying, Kanwe, with Hi. a horse. Strong, forceful voice. Hi. Do you know what kuri kaisu meant? Reappear. It's to kuri. repeat. To I'm sorry. Repeat. Repeat. So most likely he does not say the word kanwaiar once. He probably says it like a couple of times, though it could be once. But it just means like to repeat an action. So if he repeats kanwaiar in a hoarse voice, that's it's strong and kind of far away from the main character. And after he repeats it, he does nanika tukikuaita, which is he adds something on top of the konwaya, which he went, oh, the thing he's adding is a magical spell. Hi. Okay, kanji check. Uh, actually, I'm going to skip kanji check. Got all those right. Dude, oh, Wait. wow, so fast. Um, another sent another paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it a sentence every time it ends, or is it a paragraph every time um, it ends? These are supposed to be kind of basically every paragraph, but sometimes I, if a paragraph is like one line, then I kind of just throw it in there. So, uh, but it tends to be every end of paragraph. Okay, Yatta! Yatta! another paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, are you ready to read the next line from the book? Yes. Nebri no atatakai te o sukamu to grab or will grab a warm oh will grab the warm hand of Neburi. Perfect. Nice. So our Sukan next word... is gonna reach out. <laughs> Perhaps. Or I have a random sentence <laughs> using stuff. Um <laughs> okay. So, do you know what tori ageru means? Tori ageru. Tori is to take something. Yes. Ageru is to give it away. Mm. Or to uh, pour something you're, else. So, you're not to lift wrong. It up. You're not wrong that ag ageru can mean to give. You're not normally going to have the kanji there in that case. This this, this, it, this okay. is very much making it really plain, upward motion. Uh, 
Bahai. It, it means to take up or to take something and move it upwards or to lift up something. Oh, lift, lift an object. This is a very physical verb. Here. It's not meta, not um, metaphorical. Now we have an adverb, <laughs> which is a sound effect, which is gashiri. So gashiri ko. Gashiri. This is um Gash. firmly or solid or strong, something like that. Very, very muscly. Gashiri. Um, so gashiri. this tosuru Sorry. is not old tosuru. Just sometimes some when when we add um suru to adverbs, some adverbs like to have the to in there. And some adverbs don't really care. Uh, I think having the toll is the standard with adverbs, but sometimes they're so commonly used that the toll is dropped. But uh, yeah, let's go read the sentence. Right. Gashiri <clears> tosta. <throat> I'm sorry, let me try again. Gashiri tosta te ga ishi o tori ageta. Um, the the firm hand Hi. Uh, grabs and lift the stone. Perfect. Take nice. hold of and lift up the stone. So, so. Okay, let's go read the line from the book then. Neburi no gashiri tosta atatakai te ga Oreno teo sukami mado sekio tori ageta. So, um, a warm hand that is firm, a fir neburi's firm, warm hand grabs hold on to my hand and um, and I'm guessing we, the subject is still the Neburi's hand. Hi. So after grabbing my hand, it also grabbed the stone, the magical stone, and take it and lift it out. Hi. Exactly. Yank it out, basically. Yep. So toyakiru does mean to pick up, to take something up. It can have a slight connotation of taking away something. So they're probably kind of going toward that kind of meaning from it. But he is, he's basically, he grabbed his hand and lifted the magical stone out of it. Basically, he's like, it's mine. Why are you holding this, <laughs> boy? Um, the reason I was, um, I didn't comprehend that sentence the first time was because mm -hmm. I had this tendency when I read the te ga, it, the image in my mind was he reached out with one hand and grab mm. the 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 Khan's hand and then with that same hand he he grabbed it i misunderstood it he must have used both hands most likely because japanese doesn't identify plural or singular you're right so i'm yeah i missed that point so he he grabs with one hand and with the other hand he grabs the stone out of totally out of um yeah the sometimes one clutch you will see we saw katate not that long ago with Khan being like he put his hand in his pocket with one hand and took out the stone. So sometimes katate will show up to make it more obvious if there's one hand versus two. So yeah, this right here I, could be one hand, could be both. It's not defined. <laughs> exactly. I, it's a okay. quirk. I need to remember that. It it is definitely hard when you start learning the same with like adding the A's and the Zas. You have to like throw those in there because they don't exist in Japanese. Gotta just sense, like, hmm, is this an A word or a mm -hmm. the word? Um, do you know what Shizuka means? Shizuka is peaceful, like the I, countryside is peaceful. Mostly um Shizuka. quiet is the meaning for or it. Quiet. And quiet <laughs> has the connotation of peaceful with it, but it doesn't actually mean peaceful on its own. So it's the quiet countryside, which has the connotation of being peaceful, because if it's quiet, then nothing's happening. It's like the kind of like how how things get similar. But if you want to do like peaceful, you might use a different word if you want to make it very often like heiwa. That's not the word you'd use, but that's peace. <laughs> um, odayakana maybe. Um, that's like yes. Um, but yeah, what is this kanji? Shizuka. Hi, Shizuka. Perfect. Shizu. 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 
Um, si. Can you read this <laughs> phrase for me? Shizuka na yoru. Perfect. A what does that mean? Quiet evening. So, a quiet evening. Perfect. And do you recognize this kanji? Yes. Uh, kuni. Ai, kuni. Quickly. Exactly. Quickly. Uh, earlier we saw kuna for kunasaka, which meant a very steep hill. But here it's kuni for quickly. Perfect. Okay. Ai. So this right here is a verb that I decided to just throw in here because it only works with this specific verb. Uh, Kazaga yamu means the, the wind has stopped. There's no more wind. Um, yamu. So can you read this? Kyuni fu, no, kyuni kaze ga yanda. Quick and in, in abrupt, abruptly. The wind stopped abruptly. Exactly. Um, our next word is atari. Do you know what atari means? Atari. It, it's a noun. It referred to the vicinity of, of something. Mostly actions. Nearby. So, so. Perfect. Um, okay. So let's go read this sentence. Before that, do you remember what say meant? It's been a little bit. Say there. Say is the it? fault. So, of so, something perfect. due to a particular thing, another Hai. event occurred. Exactly. So let's go read this. Hi. Kuni yanda kaze no se de. Due to the wind stop uh, abruptly, uh, Atari ga. Is it Suzuka or Shizuka? Shizuka. Shi, shi, shi. Shizuka. Ni nata. Hai. It became quiet. Hi. Specifically whatever, the atari. Whatever. The surroundings became quiet. Ah, <laughs> I apologize. Atari ga. This is a clear subject here. The so, so. surround the surrounding become quiet. Hi. Perfect. Okay. So let's go read our next two sentences. Hi. You say to kaze ga yanda. I'm guessing toll here is sort of a sound effect. Good okay. guess. Um, then... So these two dots right here are not actually a long sound. If you see two lines like that, it's actually kind of like M dash in English. If you know what that word means. So when you see like one of these in English, it's kind of like a pause like thing. And... So toll, kaze ga yanda is kind of what's going here. So this is a toll as in this happened like immediately after kind of like the next event yes. kind of yes it basically say afterward like hi, hi, and hi. and then kind of a thing exactly and then kaze ga yanta the wind stop uh atari ga um kyu ni atatakaku nari atatakaku atatakaku atatakai warm atatakaku nari become warm perfect um atari meaning the the surrounding uh, suddenly or abruptly became or become warm Hai. and shizuka ni natta and and it become quiet perfect it became quiet this whole thing is in the past tense i apologize so. that nari is also in the past tense Mm -hmm. But I didn't uh, know that until I get to the end of the sentence. So, so that is how that works in Japanese. It's also like confusing because of how um, if you were really translating a whole story in Japanese, you actually would kind of have to translate everything into past tense, even if it's not past tense, because there's different rules in the standards for how things are written in Japanese versus English. So in English, um, I don't know if you know about that with um, our novels, everything has to be in the same tense, the whole novel. So it has to be all in past or all in future or whatever. If you wanted to write a weird future tense novel, the standard is a past tense, but it's different in Japanese where every sentence kind of has to do with when events occur, basically, is whether or not it's going to be past or future tense. Um, do you recognize this kanji? Wait, Mani, I, I kind of didn't quite understand the point. So the distinction between our English a novel written in English and a novel written in Japanese, you say to me is that the one that written in Japanese 
is all going to be in the past tense? No, that's English. Or okay, that's the English one. So um but the Japanese one, depending on the paragraph by paragraph, right? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? Basically. For example, right over here we have oto suru. This is how the sentence ends. It ends with to attempt will be attempting to do this action. But in English we say I attempted to do this action. We can't have this in past tense in English because it's in a novel. But here, because this is an action, they want it to sound exciting. So it has to be happening right now. Uh so okay, so there is the there is this sense that a Japanese novel is almost as if we teleported ourselves into the, the time and place and we are witnessing it right there and then as if it's, it is happening. Yeah. But we understand that everything already happened. Yeah, and the, there's a lot the, of like mixing. So right here, Kikoinai is also in present tense saying, I can't hear anything. I, a, but in English, we say, I couldn't hear anything. But, couldn't but then, anything. so... When events are happening, it tends to be in present tense. And then when the events is a little bit more over, sometimes things will be randomly in past tense. So right here it says, I had yelled my own name. So here it's not currently being yelled. It had happened in the past. So in Japanese, they kind of flip-flop over and over depending on the how sudden the action is, basically. Tends to be the main uh, difference. So yeah. Okay. okay. Same with like right here. Okay, that's he couldn't let go of the stone. It was Hanare Nai. Wasn't I could not have mm. I could not currently let go of the stone. I didn't I was not able to let go of the stone. It is I cannot right now. So that that's a uh, very interesting quirk about Japanese stories that um so, is not so there is the sense there's that sense that in, in the present tense it's it's like it draw the reader into the, the action of the moment. Yeah, Wait, you can kind if, of think about that the... the same way how the story is also written in casual Japanese, like not not casual, but it's in short form. You know, this isn't has, hana de masen, for example, that'd be polite Japanese. Masen. So you want to be closer I... to your audience. You don't want to be like standoffish. So that all, all novels, even essays are also in short form in Japanese, which in English, our essays actually have our more polite language. Right, even like academics essay yes. type Ac would be in the short form. Uh, there's certain vocabulary you wouldn't use. You would use more academic vocabulary. For example, rather than da, you use de adu because da is a little bit casual. But you would hatha hanada nai would be hanada nai in an essay. There would be no need to change that. It's not a casual word. It's already in short form. You're all set. So oh, it's a couple so of interesting. So, yeah, it, it's very interesting. It's it's so it's almost as if the literary, um, like the written language and the spoken language are pretty near one and another, with the exception I, of you being in a formal situation and then you have to switch over to the formal language. But the written language and the spoken language are one and the same. Totally. I think almost. there was a movement at some point. I don't remember it totally where... Um, I think uh, Fujiwara or some, somebody like that was like, we need to allow the people to be able to read and everybody knows short um, short form. So it kind of became a standardized that we have to write all our essays and stuff in this way so that normal human, no, the, the people could read back when um, literacy was being made in Japan. Uh, but I, I am see, not I a historian, see. so I don't know the information, but that's something you're interested in. It's that's, so interesting I, because I be there's some languages in the world right now where the written form and the spoken form are still completely different. Hi, hi. Like English. <laughs> like you have to relearn a separate. <laughs> yes, like English. Yes. <laughs> there's a certain degree to it. I mean, it's not as bad as some other one, but <laughs> I agree. Hi, hi. Okay. It is our halfway point. Oh, good. <laughs> 